you the fun cuts copy? I mean, at the end of the day, it's always kind of just pop music, you know. It's the one thing that really ties everything together, but uh, but maybe just more, a more kind of skewed take on pop music, like a slightly weirder uh, idea of pop music, and uh, that's probably always the best way to describe it, I think. Well, we hope we never get there and it's just yeah. constantly, uh, we're constantly searching for it because that means we'll be able to keep making new records. I think if we find the one thing we're totally happy with, then, you know, we'll have to find another job, so. Yeah, I mean, we feel like with making records that um, we're becoming, becoming better at playing our instruments and developing our songwriting, that we're getting closer to being able to get the sounds that we're looking for. Um, and with this record we produced it ourselves rather than bringing in a producer because we felt we were confident in that we, we would be able to would be able to deliver the record that we wanted to make um, but I think that's probably a sign that we're getting closer to being able to to be able to make this make something that sounds the way that we want it to you know to sort of get out of our heads what we're trying to but I don't think um, it'd be weird to think that you'd ever um, make something that was perfect, it'd, uh, it'd be all downhill from there, it'd be sad. I guess we always try and take influences from lots of different, uh, different uh, kind of, you know, sources, not just music, but like art and film and, uh, you know, we're kind of always, or just like gear, like, you know, I find, you know, the sound of like old Fender guitars as like an influence on, you know, on what we do, or like old synthesizers and um, I just, yeah, we just, we're always consuming music and art and kind of culture, so it just feels like it all kind of ties in, and uh, we're never really shut off to anyone or anything. You can always get something out of someone, whether it's someone you don't like, because then you know, okay, well that's not the way to do it, you know. I think, yeah, we're just, uh, we're just always open to all kinds of different mediums and, uh, you know, as far as influencing what we do. Be my baby. If we had a million lifetimes to do this, maybe it'd be crazy to go off for a year and tour with Lady Gaga and some huge arenas, but uh, I, don't, I just don't think it's like that. I think well, this is our third time to, uh, to Portugal and um, it feels like it's just gotten bigger every time. And, um, we've been saying this all day in interviews, but we love coming here and, uh, you know, the people are just so amazing, the city's so beautiful and, you know, we could easily see ourselves living here, you know, one day. It's like, and it's funny because whenever we say that to people, they're like, well, are you crazy? Like, you know, to locals, they don't get it. And, uh, but it, I think, yeah, you guys are very lucky You have a great kind of culture and a great city here and, uh, you know, hopefully the crowd responds to what we're doing tonight. Hello, I'm Tim. I'm Mitchell, we're from Cut Copy. And you're watching My Way, Customize Your Music.